everybody, Lee Brownlee here from Stuff To Do. We run a website called StuffToDoAtHome.com and um, you may or may not have noticed that I'm trying to get hold of Jim Carrey. Uh, yes, Jim Carrey, the actor and more importantly, artist. Um, why do I say more importantly? Because this video is actually all about Jim Carrey's art, which um, I have got to say I am a huge fan of. And um, I am myself a painter, so I know what it takes to produce the kind of art that Jim does. And I have to say, honestly, I am a little bit in awe. So you can find out all about the mission and why I'm trying to get hold of Jim uh, on our website, stufftodoathome.com. But for this video, what I really want to talk about is Jim Carrey's art and why it is awesome. So, if you'll uh, just follow along with my little presentation. Okay, why is Jim's art so awesome? What makes it awesome? Well, there's three things. They are vision, colour and fearlessness. So, I'm just going to talk a bit about, first of all, this painting and uh, how those three things come together. Now, first of all, when you're talking about vision, it's very, very difficult actually to do a good painting. And, you, and, and the thing is with Jim and, and other great painters is they make it look really easy. So everything they produce looks fab. Uh, all the colours are in the right place. The competition, composition is fantastic. All of these things, they make it look really, really easy. But the fact of the matter is, is you must have a vision to be able to create a painting like that. And Jim absolutely nails it every time. I don't know how he does it. And I'm hoping, Jim, when we speak, you might tell me a bit about it. So, so on one level, he obviously has had the vision of having uh christ right in the middle of this picture to emphasize the importance of the christ consciousness in his life um it's called electric jesus the painting i haven't seen it i don't know the scale of it but i'm, I'm in my head it's probably really quite large that's how i would do it if it were me and um on top of that i don't know how jim's method obviously all artists are different but for me when i paint very often a picture just sort of pops into my mind or I dream it. I know that sounds a little bit out there. Um, sometimes when I'm meditating, pictures come into my mind and I, and I feel the urge to go and paint them. And, um, you know, maybe that is something that's happened to Jim with this one in particular. You know, that image formed and he wanted to translate it. A vision. So anyway, so that's one thought about that. But when you talk about colour, look at this. This is phenomenally hard to do. Pretty much we're working in uh, the primaries here um, and that can look very childish but this doesn't look very childish this is very sophisticated and um, what you get from it is a real sense of the vibrancy the vibrancy that Jim is trying to communicate of the Christ energy um, fantastic I really understand it and I love it so let's talk about the fearlessness who paints a picture of Christ that isn't, um, you know, it's your conventional picture. You have to have some balls to do that. Um, and this is very much Jim's feeling of Christ. And he has expressed it in a way that is important to him. Sorry, I get choked up because I just, um, I just love art. I just love art. So uh, anyway, completely and utterly fearless. So he's gone right in there and represented an iconic figure um, that, let's be fair, has got so many myths around him that, you know, we don't know what's true and what isn't true. And Jim has painted his own truth. And um, as an artist, you know, that is when you, when you know you have found a great artist because they have painted their truth. So, so this is a picture that I am a huge fan of. That's why I started with that one. Now I'm going to talk about this one, and this is called uh, Sun Shower, and I'm just going to be slightly technical for a minute. So what, so what Jim has done here that is really fantastic is he has used mostly cool colours. So you have blue is cool, green mostly cool, um, and also uh, the whites. White is a cool colour, although it's not technically a colour. 
Um, and yet, even though he has done that, the warmth and the energy coming out of the painting is absolutely fantastic. And I have painted a portrait of Jim and oh God, I didn't have very long. So Jim, I apologize. It really doesn't do you justice. And one day I would like to have another attempt, but he has captured his own essence absolutely brilliantly. I, I think I've not met you yet, Jim, but I, this is what I think. Look at the sheer delight in his face at enjoying a sun shower. You know, when the rain comes, but it's still sunny. What a fantastic phenomenon, phenomenon that is. And look how Jim has expressed it. Um, and again, completely fearless. He doesn't care. He wanted to be down here looking up at the heavens. So he did it. It's, it's not a traditional composition, um, but it works absolutely splendidly. He's just gone right in and experimented uh, with colour, with form, with shape. It's absolutely fantastic. And, um, you know, I find it very hard to believe that you would have created that picture without having seen it in your head first, because I don't think it's something that just emerges by accident. Um, what I've just noticed as well is look how the colours of our logo are almost exactly the same colours as this painting. Um, so, you know, if that's not a sign that Jim should get in touch with me, I don't know what is. My email's here, by the way, Jim, lee at stufftodoathome.com. I'm just pointing that out. Right, so I'm just going to go for this third one. And I have to say, I've tried to find the title and I haven't been able to. Um, and um, but I really, really want to show it. And the reason I want to show it is it speaks very strongly to me as a woman. And I, I, I don't know what is was Jim's intention doing this, but the things I'd like to call out, first of all, again, exemplary use of colour. Who do you see who uses colour like this? In fact, the only person I can think of off the top of my head is Munch, uh, Edvard Munch, who did the scream. Or you could also say maybe Van Gogh gets here, or you could even say Francis Bacon, I think, but he's in a more controlled way. This is for arty types, so <laughs> I've gone off into a bit of an artist, artist musing there. But anyway, the use of colour is phenomenal. Gauguin also, uh, these colours. But it, it's the power of the feminine. It's the power of the feminine. And I don't need to explain this symbol to you. I think this is a universal symbol. And I think we can say this is probably one of Jim's uh, more political pieces because I think we can see people we recognise in here naming no names. And I think he has made a point very elegantly, um, we know very, very elegantly uh, about how he feels about certain things. Again, you need vision for that. You, that just doesn't just, isn't by accident. Um, so, you know, I am a huge fan of Jim's art. If you, if you haven't seen his art, you really must go and investigate. Um, he does exhibit, but we're in the UK. I don't know if he's ever going to exhibit in the UK. Um, he does exhibit in the States. So if you're in the States and you can get to see him, I, I envy you because I would love to. So anyway, I'm just going to stop there. Um, so uh, all I want to say is, Jim, get in touch. Um, I've got a message for you. I really think we should talk. And um, I just really look forward to uh, hearing from you.